After nine years of construction, most of the Jane Byrne interchange will reopen this month. The design aims to cut congestion for half of drive in half for drivers. CBS 2's Marissa Perlman is along the expressway with what leaders are saying about the project. Nine years and hundreds of millions of dollars in overrun costs later, this project is set to be almost complete in just a few days. Despite delays, state and local leaders celebrated the beginning of the end of this project. The last of the major exit ramp closures will reopen as soon as Friday or as late as Monday. That's according to the Illinois Department of Transportation. After that, some cosmetic projects will continue through this winter and into spring, including resurfacing some roads and landscaping projects. Now, this project was supposed to be finished back in 2018, so we asked DOT what happened. The answer is a little complicated, but the state points to, in part, limiting overnight and weekend construction and time-consuming improvements on the Eisenhower. But now they expect the finished project to reduce traffic delays by half the time. We anticipate a 50% reduction in delays for all vehicles over the course of a day. Five million hours, uh, sorry, five million hours fewer of drivers sitting in congested traffic. Savings of $185 million in lost production from delayed travelers each year. Uh, decreased idle time resulting in saving nearly 1.6 million gallons of gasoline annually and a one-third reduction of greenhouse gases, 25% uh, fewer crashes for motorists and thousands of jobs created. No one likes construction delays, but brighter days are ahead in the next few days as we declare this project substantially complete. Being in the home stretch of this project welcome news to drivers and hopes that they will see less congestion here on the interchange, something that's been open since the 1960s and sees about 400,000 drivers every single day. Reporting in Greektown, Marissa Perlman, CBS 2 News. Thank you, Marissa.